Hello everyone! I think... I think I see a lovely thing! Because Tharbad has indeed now been taken by Bree and for properly moving in we get a Merchant's Guild! Ah yes, 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 yes. And the Dunlendings do not try to touch us. Um... Hmm... And we can probably take all these. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that in a moment. We'll do that in a moment. Before then, though, let's see what we can do around here. Because it would be... Well... It would be swell to get a herbalist to really boost the growth a bit, but it doesn't seem to do much, so it's probably better to focus on Mason's house in Bree. That's going to be good. And... Probably show what can you get? Well, not much. Bowser might be good though. But what I also want to do, because now there is Argond. So I'm actually going to send Gandalf over there to so here. Have a look. Oh, and his wife have taken it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Uh, it took so long. Well then, okay, we're, we're, we're going to expand into Dunnan and then. That's going to be the thing. So, we should absolutely go with that as the plan, I guess. And that involves getting some troops over. By your command, we'll make camp here. So... We go out onto the ridge of Tharbad, and boom! And they try to stand their ground. Okay. I am going to take you up on that, Dunland. I really am. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 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 Ah. Um... I'm gonna put holes in these bastards. Okay, first up, Dunedain Rangers. Um, we don't have the best staging ground, have to say, but hey, hey. Uh, you know what? Keep on on skirmish mode. That's fine. And then we have you and you. You and you. You're all just going to gather up into one formation. And you are going to go over here. And this is where we're going to draw the enemy to. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. There's some hobbits hiding in the uh, very lush foliage around here. It's really great opportunities for them to hide. You gotta admit. And da -da 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 -da. Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna take the rest and just put them into one team. That's gonna be fine. Greenway Riders, ready to catch any who run. And that's gonna be that. So and you can't bloody reach them, can you? Oh goodness. Hill's doing what they do best. Anyway, gonna run over there. Come on, guys. There's some berserkers right there. And now you can actually reach them. Because you've ascended the hill. So, do what you will against these. These incredulous fools. The landing berserkers. Hmm. They will never be able to berserk hard enough. I guess. Not sure what that means, but we're gonna run away though. It's all gonna be fine. Gonna run to there. Yep. Start shooting again. Okay, General's Bodyguard, you're going to be coming in from over there. I've just decided. 
Oh my goodness, those berserkers are going to die, but uh, they are not the most important ones. Especially not for you journeymen, but you can't reach the guardians yet, so... Hey, hey, hey. Come on. And rangers. Go for the guardians. Go for the guardians. Okay, journeymen, you are going to move forward too. And go for the guardians. Oh, they apparently don't like it. Now they're facing away from us. How stupid can they be? If nothing else, they should use their shields to their advantage. Oh my goodness. There comes some dun-dun-ding pikemen. Uh, let's shoot at them. Then comes some dun the champions Hmm. And then the pikemen coming into range, but they are getting decimated slightly, which is nice to see. Uh, oh my goodness! That was my battery close to dying. My laptop will come back to life, though. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, folks. Don't you worry. We're still on the air, and here we are, back into the world. Hmm. Okay. Gentlemen, uh, yeah, you need to go. Stop loading your crossbows, please. Woodland Hunters, um, why are you right there? Oh well. Um, okay. Hobbits. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, you guys, go against the champions, please. Oh, a hobbit died. Come on. Yeah. Okay. That is interesting. Guardians of Dunland. They need to be um, dealt with. Throw your stones. Yes. Very good. Okay. Everybody, move in. The enemy army Crush them with numbers. Them down. Well done, guys. by the victory we have won here today. I think that is an acceptable ratio for us. Doing design rangers pulling in the big numbers, of course they do. Gentlemen also doing well this time. And Woodland Hunters gaining experience. Excellent. Brilliant bodyguards doing their bit. Taking the brunt of today's losses, which is good because, of course, they will recuperate set losses. Hmm. So that was just one more nail in the Dunlending coffin. And what shall we then do? Well, we shall, uh, in time, we shall rebuild the Bridge of Tharbad. That is clear. We must. Hiding from the enemy. A wise choice, my lord. Oh, they accepted that. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Yes, my lord. I have to assume that uh, they don't want to fight, but they don't have a choice. 
Because that's just how the cookie crumbles around here. Oh, Dunedain Rangers need target practice. And we're gonna give it to them. And this time, we have slightly more of a terrain advantage, which is nice. So, let's just do what we did last time. It's not gonna take long. Um... Doom 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 I mean that realistically that's gonna be it. And Greenway Riders standing ready as you always do. I do like the look of these guys. And of course the Dunedine Rangers. Who doesn't love a good Dunedine Ranger? Looking cool. Looking neat. Ready, aim, fire. Ready, aim, fire. Right here. I mean, they are not really in an advantageous position. No, they're not. And they run. Excellent job, lads. Can you get them all? Nah. The pikemen were the ones to live, apparently. Well, live and live. No, 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 no. They were the ones to be caught by the Greenway Riders as fodder for the experience machine. Come on, catch up to them. Go on, go on, catch him. There he goes, and we catch the captain just at the end of the line. Goody goody. Anyone gain experience? Not really, did they? No. Okay, well well. Worth a shot. Literally. And so, what shall we do now? Well, we shall go back into Tharbad and we train a couple of troops. Um, because I did see some Breland militia or Archer militia uh, up for retraining. And so we shall do exactly that. After this... Okay, they just accept every single thing. Cool. Um, so yeah, we have... Boom. Badum, badum. We can effectively retrain all of those guys. Why not the 177s? Is there something wrong with them? Is it because they are mercenaries or something? Oh, it's because it's their full numbers. Okay. Of course. Oh, of course, of course. City me. Okay. Good. Um... I suppose, nah, okay, we can't reach that anymore, but uh, we will. Anyhow, Vile is pretty close. And also Dunlarach, the capital itself, is uh, not too far away. Depending on how strong they are, we can just launch at them and strike at their heart immediately. 
Yeah, we'll take these woodland hunters with us. Um, and what else shall we do? Train some Bandrobra's archers. <laughs> and we'll try the Mason Skilled House. Very nice. And we need, oh, we need more culture here. Of course we do. We need a traveler's rest. Uh, we'll get that soon enough. We'll get that soon enough. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm -hmm. Adelard. You're just standing there. Farming copious amounts of cash. Uh, we can also go there. Yes. Uh, and the vineyard is also a nice spot for trading. Yeah, but the the Hobbit farmsteads, they really are where it's at. Do we have trade rights with the elves? Do, 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 do. Yes, we do. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, Dreithior. Hmm. Yes, you're going to Gondor. We shall cement an alliance. Even if that ends up dragging us into conflict with Isengard. I think this is where we want to be. Excellent, everybody. So much good potential in all that we're seeing here. Tharbed is held. The Dunlendings are, well, they didn't hold. <laughs> So, um, yeah, let's go for another turn then. Okay, turn 49. So, let's see what awaits us. Um, it's going to be moving our troops down, isn't it? Yep. Wait a minute. No, okay, <laughs> for a second I thought they bribed my army, but that's not them. Um, the Dunlendons like me. What? <laughs> the Art of Hadunaim and Harad decide to really like me for some reason. Which I find kind of odd. Uh, consider we're about to go to war with, um, Dunland. Um, just talking to, uh, Waffle a bit. I'm going to turn this music down because I feel like it's too loud. That's better. But, uh, me and Waffle are thinking about going down to Isengard and ending off the ep campaign with a big battle with Isengard. Um, I think the plan is, uh, probably Elrond's army is going to lay siege to Isengard alongside a Breland army. I think the one he has at Farbad. And then we do like one of us will play the battle far bad, and I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, I doubt we'd do too much fighting with Isengard that much. I don't really want to, to be honest. Because I think once we take Isengard, and that and that'd just be it. I think I, I don't really want to continue that much because I've got other things I'm working on, and I don't really have time to really keep this going. Um. No, I think it's time we move everything south. We've got um, Dawn and Austin now at Mifflon to get you guys. Uh, do I want them actually? Thinking about it, probably not. Uh, Harlon's going to get three units there. Don't really care what I get there. Just thinking. Um, we get a Bliss to make a next turn. Do I want to get the blacksmith? Do I really need the blacksmith? I'm thinking not, really. Um, no, I'll grab two extra troops here. But then again, we're getting loads from Harlon, three of, from Harlon, so I don't know if we really need it. No, I don't think we do. Oh yes, my fleet, I forgot all about you. You are about to um, seize the Angmar dogs. I'm starting to think maybe I should have kept my fleet around to move the army from Mithlon, but... It's a matter. Um, no, okay, we'll wait a turn and then get the ballista hopefully next turn, if all goes well. Because that will set us back a bit if we don't get it in time. Hmm. I'm just debating if, if it's worth getting these, but it's going to take us a while to build the ballista anyway, so do you know what, fuck it. We'll grab some more troops. I'll get some, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get two here. And that's a decent army to take Buzz with Jim. I don't really know how powerful the Orcs are down there, so... It's probably a safe bet getting some more troops. Full on... 
go and put you in there, get some troops in there. Or do I want to spam out that much? Nah, I will. And I'll do the same over here somewhere. Because I would like some troops to come down from a... Uh, uh, nah, don't bother with that. I'll grab two units so they can come down eventually. And, yeah. Erond will move south for set up a watchtower while he's nearby. Uh, Phyllis Droon looking lovely. No um, general on side currently. But I'll move our troops down and eventually in a couple of turns we'll arrive at Byrick. I think Waffle's going to be sending some troops down to take Dunlaw Rack. I did say there was an Erond wife army. Um, I don't really know where the Erond wife army has gone. But... So, I did say you should go to the village next, or the town next, which is uh, Bale. Or maybe a better luck with that. But then, once my elven army arrives, we should be good. Oh, that was, that was it. I forgot about it. I'm getting a uh, ballista here, aren't I? And an rod. My elven culture is good. And, yeah, that's fine. That should do it. And I'll bring down some extra troops in the north as well as we go. Uh, what's the situation in Angmar? More of a tough held by doing thing still. Uh, Mount Graham still stands very defiant. Yep, that's unfortunately how it's going to be for a little while. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. Uh, nothing really to do here, so just waiting and waiting for our armies to arrive in the south and start kicking Dunland's ass. But I think ending it off again with the Battle of Isengard will be pretty damn fun. Um, I have actually recently done the battle map of Isengard with the uh, Fellowship campaign. Uh, we did a uh, I won't say, I won't, I won't give a time frame because uh, this will probably be out of date. Because <laughs> I don't know when this episode will go. This episode might be another couple of weeks till it goes up, yeah. But um, in the in the uh, episode 2 of the first ship campaign, I did the Battle of Isengard with the Ents. So I've seen the Isengard battle map model before and fought it recently. So I may let Waffle um, fight the big Battle of Isengard. I'm not a spectator and hopefully uh, my, the AI doesn't get Elrond killed or something like that. <laughs> Uh, which is probably what's probably what will happen with my luck. But all right, let's go next turn. Hello, Kazatum. Welcome to Bree. Or, well, welcome to Tharbad, I guess, because you're addressing Councilman Fosco, and that is where he is, memory serves. You want trade rights, do you? Let's see what... Yeah, hmm. What if I threw in some map information? And then wanted you to give me money. How would you... How would you see that? I mean, you can easily afford a thousand. Well, 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 well. Let, let's not be... Uh, let's not be harsh. Hmm. <laughs> but anyhow. Here is indeed our turn. Yes, he did come to us at Tharbad. Right. This place has a little bit of corruption, but not not a lot, to be honest. Hmm. Okay, so we can get militia, Greenway, Journeyman. Oh my goodness me. Bloody egg. That bloody power to play. It really got me. I thought I had more battery power than that, but uh, not this time apparently. Oh dear. But. Onwards and upwards. So uh, let me think in the meantime. What are we going to need in terms of buildings? It's always nice to get the guild house going, get it rolling. I don't foresee public order being an issue in the settlement, so that is probably what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. You know what? That is pro. Yeah, that is... Uh, I do consider that to be the chief course of action here. So... Yeah. It's either that, or it's starting to delve into the merchant line of things, but... 
Yeah, I'm not too much into that. Or maybe... No, 65 for gatekeepers. So, yeah. Mason's Guildhouse, it is. So, Gandalf, why don't we send you down here? Then we take... Mm, I think we should send Nick, to be honest. We should start by sending him here, and we'll build a watchtower, and then he can strike at Dunlarach. And we have a tiny garrison here, but that's fine for now. More will come. And what else do we need? What sheriffs? Mm. Eh. I'm not convinced by most of these things, to be honest. Kobolishar, though, you need something. Let's do with some... Eh, I don't even know. Yeah, they're the tennis, that's what we're gonna need. That's just gonna be that, I think. And hmm, we can have an additional unit. So let's get a little bunch of journeymen. They'll do something. Oh, 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 massive, massive retraining opportunities in Bree. Yes, my lord. Council must have yes. I want sight range in this place. That's pretty good. Basically brings a most of that side of our territory under our gaze and then yeah Nick is just gonna proceed toward Dunlarach he might get accosted on the way but we shall see anyhow hmm oh yes yes I want that uh, I want to be able to infiltrate it and maybe even um, bring up the gates. Let's see if that happens. Over to the elves. Hey guys, it's Fred and Stack here, and welcome to turn 50, which is quite a number. <laughs> it's crazy we've been playing for like 50 turns. Let's see what the mission got us. A ship. Uh, okay. It's not really what I wanted. Alright, whatever. I'll bring my fleet back home. They've done their job. Is that better than anything I've got? 510, that's probably not. Nah, nowhere near better than anything we've got. No, don't do that. Uh, you moron, no. I just want you to attack the ship inside the port, not be a moron. That's my fault there, but I'm, I don't care, I'm cheating. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Um, Alright, you can go in here. For some reason I haven't locked my cursor and I can't really bother to actually do that. <laughs> Plus I don't really have to re-lock my cursor actually to be honest. Right. Full on. I don't honestly get... I don't know what's up with my cursor. Just do... No. Just... I, don't, I don't know. I don't have to lock my cursor here. <laughs> That's a problem. Um, Whatever. You can come up this way. I'll pick him up with the ship at some point. We should have the ballista now. Are you shitting me? Turns... Really? 
I have to wait 19 fucking turns to recruit a ballista. That's ridiculous. What? Why? That's fucking ridiculous. Why do I have to wait that many fucking turns for a ballista? That is just utterly ridiculous. Is it going to be the same at an any rod when it gets when this ballista gets built? Because that's fucking ridiculous. That is just stupid. I'm not waiting fucking what 19 turns just so I can get a fucking ballista. That's ridiculous. Unless it's a bug and it might actually recruit next turn, but that's stupid. That is just doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> why would why would that take nineteen fucking turns? <sighs> that's ridiculous. Um I know Waffle's going for Donald Rack, as you can see here. I wanna get to um Byron before he does. Preferably. I just actually wanna take some territories in this in this uh, place. Not that it matters all that much, because we are closing on the end of the series anyway, so... Um, <laughs> doesn't really matter all that much. But I want to go straight for Byrig if I can. Before Waffle gets it. I did tell Waffle, I was like, I'm going to go for Dunlorak and Byrig. Let me go, let me let me take these two. But no, he's going to go take it anyway. So, <laughs> whatever. Isengard. What have they got in there? Ah, uh, Saruman himself. is 21 years old. Looking good for 21. Oh no. <laughs> I should say, looking terrible for 21. <laughs> right. He's, he's, got, he's got that covered. He doesn't need my help. Ant Wife is quite near me. Uh, the one thing we have is that Ant Wife isn't allied with Waffle. So. <laughs> it's not all that great if. Um, if <laughs> if Ant Wife decides to attack us. Um, I think it will take more than, yeah, I should be able to get to Byron before Waffle does, roughly. He's still got to come this way, lay siege to the town. Next turn he'll take it, and I don't think he'll get have enough movement points to get, after taking the capital, to go all the way to Byron. So I should, because that will take him three turns. This sh I should get there in time, so that's good. I might have to use a spy to get in. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I'll send this spy over this way. Which should take him. Yeah, he'll be he'll be he'll arrive in time. We'll try and get through Bio with our spies because I works. I don't because I wanted to wait for the ballista, but the ballista is going to take me 19 bloody turns. <laughs> just we're not waiting for that. <laughs> That's just stupid. Hopefully, I have enough elves to, to. I don't know why it's doing this. Stop doing this. Just fuck up. No, don't set a rally point or just no. No. Uh, what have you done? <laughs> what the fuck have you done? I've absolutely no fucking idea. Okay, I don't know what's happened here. I don't know if we've set a rally point or whatever, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna cancel that. I don't. I really understand the rally point system, so I don't ever use it. I just manually select stuff. And I've seen other YouTubers use it, but I've honestly never actually bothered to really delve into it. I just, just, just don't really care. <laughs> I'd rather just do it myself, <laughs> to be honest. Um, in fact, I'm going to send my spy further down to Isengard. I might get my spy in there and then we can... Uh, and me and Waffle might have a better shot at taking it. Um, well, I can see Isengard's just sending their armies through to Rohan. Which is good, because that means they might be kind of distracted. Which is perfect. Alright, let's go to the next turn. Hello, Charlie. Welcome to the family. Welcome to Bree, I guess. Well, should we welcome him to the family? <laughs> Let's have a look at him first, okay, shall we? Uh, Renown... Uh, ooh, he bends the truth. He's not very authoritative. But I don't foresee him becoming the faction leader anytime soon. So, maybe we're okay with that. Uh, time with numbers. He's good at trading. Uh, yeah, I guess. Sure, just get him in there. Hello, Charlie. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think what we need to do with Charlie is to send him south so he can take position in Tharbad. So at the moment, uh, let's, um, okay, 
Uh, Mangalan, yeah, it's not really the best place for you to be, is it? So, or maybe we should send Ash down there. He's really good at managing oh, stuff. So, yeah, okay, we're going to give uh, yes, Charlie the seat in Matrith, and Ash will then move toward Tharbad. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my and then Nick. Yes, let's see. Let's see if we can uh, infiltrate this place. We can. There's a forty percent chance that we can uh, open the gates upon arrival. Oh my goodness! And the Ennard White are just in hot pursuit of success. There, aren't they? Yes. Really, does seem to be the case. Um. Okay, I guess there's nothing uh, else we really need to do. I suppose uh, just check off a few building lines. Make sure that we're caught up on that front. Uh, but yeah, I think we kind of are. Um, any troops we need to train? Not really. No. It's all about getting Nick into Dunlarach. So let's see if we can do it. We, shall we can't. We shall um, okay, so this isn't great, but at least uh, Ennard Wythe might be studious in keeping away, you know, keeping down any uh, Dunland armies outside Dunlarach itself. So I will... Yeah, I'll procure ladder, ladders and uh, rams. And hope that Dunlan doesn't interrupt us. Because that would be bad. Um, Adelard. Oh, is that? Yes, yes, yes. I believe we have uh, received a skill point for our dear merchant. And uh, hello, Gondor. I want to discuss an alliance. How do you feel about that? I'll check in my map information now that I've taken Tharbad. Ah, bloody hell. Um, me and forgetting that bloody battery thing. This is really annoying. It's happening too many times. But anyway, it looks like uh, Gondor will accept our alliance deal, which is excellent. That means that we will most likely... Uh, oh, no. No, I won't say it like that. We ha stand a greater chance of getting good relations in with Ennard Wythe because those two are allies. And so if we share allies, my thinking is we may be able to sway Ennard Wythe's decision in our favour. Why is that important? Well, uh, first of all, Ennard Wythe is getting pretty powerful. And two, in their all-powerful nature, we do not want them knocking on our door. They may consider Tharbad too fancy of a prize to really just... Uh, to, to really care about our thoughts on the issue whatsoever. But regardless, I think it would be good to, um, to get them on side. So, yes. Until we meet again. Yes. Alliance announced between Breland and the Kingdom of Gondor. Uh, so. Now, Ennard Wyeth and we. Yes, we share both Gondor and the Isles with them, so that is lovely. Yes, my lord. Sadok is only 30 years old, but already a distinguished dip diplomat, indeed. And then, next time we'll try to take down the rack, I suppose. It's likely to get a whole bunch of defenders, so it's not going to be an easy yes. battle by any any stretch of the imagination. It's probably going to be a bit of a damn slog, to be honest. Um, or maybe we'll siege them out for a bit, depending on how the whole situation around here progresses. Either way, let's see what another turn brings for the elves. 
Hey guys, Prod and Stack here and welcome to turn 51. Now I'm recording this twice because I'm a moron and forgot to turn my... Basically I um, unplugged my... Uh, unplugged my uh, like hard drive that I use, like external hard drive I use for recording. And then and then forgot to then plugged it back in again and then for some reason... Um, I know I'm blaming my recording software but OBS decided to like just not put input my mic settings for some fucking reason. I don't know why it does that but there you go. So, here we are, replaying it again. <laughs> Blockade poor Angsel, we've literally just done that. <laughs> we've literally just done that, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, funny enough, the bad factions all hate my, um, all love me for some reason I don't really know why, because usually they'd hate me, right? Seems a bit odd to me, but there you go. Right. You can go here. And I'll just span this boat because I don't need it. Um, I've got some troops being built or fallen. I'll send them over if I need them, but I'm pretty sure this army is pretty set up. I've been calling Surden for God knows how long. Surden is actually Kierden. Kierden, not Surden. By the way, his uh, unit is actually, <laughs> I actually noticed it's the upkeep is 850, which is fucking crazy. So they are very expensive to be taken out of the sea. But uh, they're well worth it on the field, don't worry. But I'm pretty sure this army is good enough to take, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, I forgot the name. A Buzz of Doom. I think it'll take me up to, is it about there, isn't it? I think, roughly. So about two, three turns it'll take me to get there. If it was like here, then that'd be quite funny because it's going to take me two turns to take uh, Byrig as well. But then, um, I think it's over there. We'll see when we get there. But it might be there, actually. I'm not too sure. I haven't been to, um... I haven't actually played that much of Dak, surprisingly. And you might, that might surprise a lot of people, but I haven't. And, um, sure I will at some point. Uh, this spy is going to go to Byrig, so I want as much power as I can to open those gates. All my spies get me 90%, which is really good. And that's going to be very handy. I think there's an elf trait that, um... No, um, no, no, it's just normal elf trait, okay. But I'll still have my spies down here. Uh, as far as I know, I did do this, uh, when I used my, I put my spy actually over here, actually, last time. And I'll go to Toggle Foe to show you, but I think Waffle might lose this army. Uh, because, uh, Mr. Huntmaster Freaker is, uh, coming to come, murder him. Which is bloody annoying. And it's one of the reasons I hate in hot seas. Because you can't defend yourself. When you get attacked like this. On the Dunland's turn. You can't defend yourself in the hot seat. It's the same if you're playing against the players. It's the same thing. <laughs> and um, that is really annoying. Because Waffle's taken quite a while to get this army prepared in this area. And all to take Farbad. And while and he's finally got Farbad. And now he's heading off to uh, Dunland Rack. With his nice army. Now he's going to lose it. Because, and I don't end by... Um, Smart enough to help him, but um, it's gonna be annoying. I did say you should go to, go for Bell, and <laughs> he, I'm thinking he should have done because I think he would have got them. I don't know, so I don't know where this army came from. I want to say it's a doom stack, but no, that's not a doom stack because I would have gotten the vent. I don't know how the if the events are that good in this, but I don't think he's got a um doom stack. Uh, by the way, when we march on Isengard, I'm gonna go. We be basically just gonna go straight to Isengard. We're not gonna bother. Well, I'm not anyway. If he wants to, he can. But I'm not gonna be bothered to take uh, Falberg, Eisenrun, and all the Isengard settlements. We're just gonna go in there, take Isengard, and end the campaign that way. I'm not gonna go through and take all of um, take all of um, Isengard's territory. That will take ages. <laughs> Unless Waffle wants to continue the campaign on his own, and take all the settlements. But I'm certainly am not because um, I can't be bothered. Um, obviously the Ballista Maker got built, and it takes me 19 turns to build the bloody thing, so I'm gonna not bother. <laughs> just can't really bother to sit there and uh, go through all that. <laughs> I can't. I'm not waiting 19 fucking turns to take Barry. It's not gonna happen. Same scenario with Buzz Doom. We're not waiting. All right, let's move on to Waffle Stone. Hopefully this uh. Hopefully that big army doesn't touch him, but you never know. All right, let's move on. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I have been away, but back I am. It's been a while, but I'm glad to be back. We are back in Bree, and, well, it seems that, oh dear, we have taken a bit of a punch 
to the gut here. Um, because Dunlarach uh, and Huntmaster Freyka, they have schooled us, it would seem. Which is, of course, a bit annoying. And there's nothing we can do about it, which is also kind of annoying, but hey. Such is life. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Your orders, my lord. Well, let's go back to Starbird, I guess. Um. And Ash, yes, you go to Starbird too. Your oh. Orders, my lord. With honor, we shall continue to. Yes, my lord. That's interesting. Orders, my lord. He is not a great, a as great um. A governor as he thinks he is. Well, well. Anyhow, what else can we do here? We've got a lot of money though. Uh, Tharbad yes, and the capture thereof has really uh, given us a lot to work with. And of course, we lost half our army, which um, also, uh, if nothing else, means a bit of a landfall here. Or wind windfall is what I mean. Windfall. Oh my goodness. Um, hmm. Corwither Shard. What can we get? We can get. Yeah, let's get some mines. And, um, hmm. Mengelen Herbalist. I guess. And here, of course, we need a traveler's rest because our cultures are ah, cultures low. Oh my goodness! I should have seen that coming. Um, what else? Your orders, what else do we have? Not a whole lot, really. Uh, it seems that the wife is keeping up the pressure on Dunland, and if they continue doing that, then perhaps Dunlarach will prove. Vulnerable to attack. We can only hope. Um, let's have a look at our agents and how they are doing. He's trading his hobbit farmstead, doing his thing with his pipe weed and all that stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yes, stopping here, my lord, my lord. And Gandalf. Hmm. Let's try to level him up a bit by giving him some uh, relatively easy missions and maybe also have a look at file over here. Hmm. No fool, send your emissary to me. I guess that's just about it. So right now we're just amassing a vast amount of money. Um, but apart from that, things are pretty quiet. But what we need here is more culture. We 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 do get some by. Um, courtesy of our Traveller's Rest, but uh, we, we will need more. Uh, then we can get our Gatekeepers, which will be good. Um, gatekeepers and Tharbad. That is what we need. Anyhow, for now we have <laughs> these yes. two guys as a bit of a buffer on the bridge of Tharbad, I suppose. Um, let's, um, let's see what happens if we just end the turn. Hey guys, friends, Stack here, and welcome back to turn 52. So, let us begin, shall we? New mission. Uh, I'm not doing that again. Um, it would seem that the big army we've feared has decided to attack Waffle and pretty much destroy his army. Hopefully, this army now weakens itself against the end wife armies that are coming up to face them. But well, Huntmaster Freaker is not going to go down very easily. Um, he's got some good units, I think. Um... Horde chances are pretty good. Berserkers we've seen before, nothing special. Warband, seen them before. Raiders, seen them before. War chances is about the only one that I can pick out that's alright. What has Earthwife got? Anything good? Eh, not really. 
This zone might have something better. Uh, Grave Flood Axman, no. River Swordsman, uh, eh, no, not really. Um, right. By the light of I won't declare war on them just yet because I think that might be a bad idea. Uh, I kind of want to attack and take Byrog in one go, so I don't have to. Um, so don't, so I, so I don't risk getting attacked by this army because they will be in range to kill us. So I don't want to risk it. So I'm gonna wait. I will wait. Yes. Oh look. Oh no. If I saw that, I thought it said like Dunland or something. I'd taken it. But Dunlorak and Bale are the only two regions that Dunland have left. It's just killing them off. Follow me. Providing Dunland doesn't attack me, I should be able to take. But and they can't reach me anyway, so we're fine. And besides, I'm pretty sure the Elven Nort resolve will completely destroy their armies. Um, obviously, I could go ahead and do the spy stuff now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do it next turn. And I'll do, I will be doing the spy actions off camera because that will be incredibly boring, which means I have to reload every time I fuck up. <laughs> so that has to be one big alt resolve, um, alt resolving fest. Okay. Anything I can do here? No. I uh, did stop. No, no, I am building stuff. I'm building these guys. I'll get another unit there. Even though I don't think we're going to need it. I could do with a spike, couldn't I? Oh, well. Um, tell you what, we have a pan tier. We can just go toggle flow. Doesn't matter. <laughs> if I have a pan tier, I'm going to use it. Okay, so. It's just a town, so they can't, so we can't fight it in one go. What's with doom? So this is all that's left in there. Goblin bodyguards and some goblin crap. So the bodyguards about the only thing that really concerns me. The rest is complete death. So they will be destroyed. I can go ahead and stop building stuff here. This is absolutely no point. If I need places, I will build them over in my territory. And I'm just not giving a shit about going on toggle foe. But hey, we're on the verge of winning the campaign. So what is the point? Hang on a minute. What? I thought I couldn't build, build a ballista till like, what, turn stupid? No, I can't build one here, but I can build one over in... What? Whatever, we'll take one. <laughs> Might come in handy with the Battle of Isengard, which is uh, something I'm looking forward to doing. We are going to have one unit of em Emmanuel Swordsman, so that's good. Other than that, you are fine. Uh, in the north, uh, Angmar is... I think we've got a lost an army outside here. But other than that, I can't see uh, much else. But yeah, Angmar's getting pushed back, so that's good. I didn't really look at Toggle Fire, I literally just looked at this, and that was it. And then maybe my settlements, but I didn't really look elsewhere. I will go do a proper Toggle Foe at the end of the campaign for you guys. You uh, unless Waffle does one yes. his, on, on his side of it, and I just, yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know how it's not worked yet. Sort of uh, still planning the events of um, yes, my lord. how we're going to end it off, really. But, uh,. I'll leave my spy there, although I kind of want my spy over here. Approaching. I'll leave my three spies here. They'll do the honours of breaking into the gates and taking the glorious place of Byrig. So I'm looking forward to doing. Um, well, anyway, that is pretty much it for this turn. We'll go on to the next turn. Hopefully Waffle can make make a uh, sort of comeback against the Dunlindens who are been a constant you, pain in our asses the entire campaign. Well, mainly for Waffle's side. Uh, for, to be honest, the campaign on my side has been a bit of a breeze, really. I mean, the goblins were a bit annoying to fight, but other than that, we just completely decimated them. Um, had a bit of trickery over the Elven Gate, but we prevailed and got through that. And, um... My Lord? Yeah, that was it. I mean, Angmar sort of died easily at Camabrin. Pretty much, and I've been getting smacked by the Doom of Day ever since. And, um, I mean, the High Pass has fallen to the um, Doom of Day, so that's wrapped up there. But yeah, my side of things has been pretty good. I, I do think the battle against Isen, battle at Isengard and against the Dunlindens might be a little difficult for us. Come, my brother. But we'll see what happens. Alright, let's move on. Hello everybody, hello, 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 and guess where the ring is? It's in Mistrand apparently, and guess who's gonna get it? 
someone else because we have to go to Bree and be in Bree because that is where we have the problems, you see? Yes. All the problems all the time, like Dunland just goading me by leaving Val empty. How can this be? Um, well, some troops are apparently drawn out that way. Dunlarach. Okay, so most of Dunland is kind of empty. Uh, I'm going to try to... Oh, bugger. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We, we, uh, there's no way around it. We're going to need siege. Siege, siege, siege will be the order of the day. Um, so. Hmm. We need a lot more middlemen in Metrith, but we'll get that. Um, do 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 do. What does it take to increase happiness? Love and happiness. Um, that. Okay. Cool. So, um. What do we need here? Merchant militia. Don't think so. Um. We've got some good troops here now that we could feasibly send out. Um. And build a bows to make him. That's just how it's going to be. Uh, Michael Delving, you can get a trading post, which is nice. And you can get roads, which means greenway riders, which is good. Um, <laughs> thinky, 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 thinky. Thank you with me, Pingy. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna start with the roads because it really, oh my goodness, what a difference it makes to trade. Yeah, 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 we're gonna get that. And uh, it also gives some military units, then we get a great hall, which will give, yes, it gives a boost to public, uh, to, uh, to growth of the settlement, and then a trading post, and then a bows to maker, and oh my goodness, the trade of this settlement is gonna go through the roof. And it's going to be very, very nice. Kobolisha, you're getting your mines. We can get a baluster. It's not exactly... I mean, I want catapults, really. That's what... Uh, that, that's what's going to do us in the long term. Greenway riders, always good. Dwarven travellers, eh, you know, at a pinch, but... Uh, I mean, I'm kind of... I'm kind of feeling done with spies at this point. They've done me in... Yes. Sufficiently, where I'm just not having them as oh, much anymore. Lord. But I know I should get them. Yes, okay. My Lord. I am feeling, though. How, how about we send a couple of generals on a suicide mission to Bile, just to Bile us some time. We shall yes, my Lord. Assembling a um... Do, 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 do. And... Let's just send with them a who's who of crappy trash units. I mean, they will of course get obliterated by the first side of trouble, but, you know. But if by some weird twist of fate the Dunlendings leave us alone, then we have enough to actually just go in and take the place, maybe even by our auto resolve uh, against Manahan yes. in one turn. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try for it. <laughs> it's the last heroic charge of <laughs> the Bullocks Brigade. Um. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
All these retrainable troops. Uh, uh, so, manage you two. You are gonna go to Tharbad. Where you will await further instruction. Gatekeepers. Oh yes, I like the gatekeepers. They are nice, they're good. Um, and we can retrain some watch sheriffs. Which is very nice. Uh, how long are we? 19 turns for doing the ranges. Oh my goodness, it's a long, long while. Okay. I'm gonna try again with um, the whole allying Enid Wythe kind of prospect. Lonangren, can I get there? I can. Now, Gondor is my ally, the Isles are my allies, we are at war with the Lendings, everything should be hunky dory. And yet they do not really like the sight of me. But I've got money. I mean, so do they, but, but... How about this? I do not what does it take for you to like me, guys? An honor, and a An honor and a pleasure, and still you won't just cooperate. I mean, I can't take this as proof of anything, uh, but them being intent on attacking Cor Willishar is something stupid. Um... Ah, I'm gonna get Bows the Crows there. That's fine. Basically, all the money we can throw at the military, the you know, the better we'll be off for it. You can get to Bree. These farm and pikemen, I mean, they're near useless, but they might as well go. Um, and what else can we do? Uh, not much, really. Our merchant is doing his thing. You know, we could send Charlie out to build a tower. Charlie and the Giant Tower. But um, but um, bum bum. Indeed, it will. It will keep vigil over the lands. And I think that's about it for this turn, really. Um, Mason's Guildhouse next turn. That's very nice. And then we can start developing other stuff too. Uh, is it just me or can't we get? Oh, we will probably need a land clearance before we can get siege equipment here. That would be my guess. Right. Siege. Um, Bows to Maker. Yes, requires land clearance. So that's what we'll get after that. And then everything will be better from there. And after the barracks event, we'll get the catapults as well. That's, yeah, everything will be better. And we'll see if Dundon takes Umbridge at Vile, which they probably will. Um, and seeing as how they're probably going to do that, let's just, yeah, let's just commit to it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be it for this one, this turn. Uh, yeah, Frozen Staff, what do you got? Hey guys, Frozen Stag here, and welcome to turn 53 of the High Elf and Bree Cup Pod seat. So, we're moving Southern over to take Buzzra Doom, which we will do now. Uh, it's been attacked before, I think. I'm going to assume that's probably from Aird's wife, or perhaps... No, not Bree. Of course not Bree. Uh, probably Aird's wife might have gone off and attacked it at some point. That'd be interesting. Um, obviously, obviously they failed. Uh, yeah, they've killed a few of these guys. So, yeah. They've, they've, Aird's wife or someone's definitely been here. I'm My money's on Aird's wife, definitely. Uh, Goblin bodyguards, infantry, and meh, pretty meh. Crappy units. Um, certain will destroy them. <laughs> so next time we'll fight that. which should be fun. However, on to more pressing matters. I'm just going to move my diplomat over from yes, Dogledore to Kaz Kaz Doom And not get stuck. Uh, we are getting the building a ballista, which might come in handy later on. So we'll send that down to Austin Ed Hill. And then we bring down Captain Rastorfion. Who's got the Emmanuel Swordmasters. They're coming down to Austin Ed Hill as well. And they're going to head down to deal with um, Dunnan. Now, Dunnan actually has moved over an army, which I'm going to assume they've split this army up from uh, the the uh, big army we saw over here. Um, so what it would seem is that Endwife is actually, not Endwife, Dunnan is heading towards Byrie. So if I can swing around here, attack this army. No, they've gone right into Byrie. I hoped, actually, that they, they, they would leave an army outside Byrie. So... So that retreating army would go to this tile here. And then I'd be able to like lure the garrison out. But no. 
So we are going to have to have a pretty bloody battle at Byrig, it would seem. Um, I think the only unit that really stands out to me is the War Chanters are going to be quite deadly. Dunherd Champions, the, his bodyguard here, which is the Beast Slayers. Uh, Bread is not so much. Uh, and the Eisenmark Axeman, yes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off camera and screw us about, screw us, uh, pardon, screw about with the spies and try and get them into Byrig. And then eventually what the plan is for me to attack on this turn and kill the, this entire army. Though it's going to be quite difficult. Though we do have decent archers and we have obviously Elrond's, Elrond the Aggressive's uh, Gilgalad's company, which is very badass. So we will probably, we will be definitely be able to kill this army, I'm pretty sure. I'd, I'd be surprised if we lose horribly. <laughs> it will not be good for us at all. Uh, once we've taken Byrig, we'll um, scout the area and then move upon Dunlorak and take that. Um, Bree Waffle is going for um, Bale now, which hopefully he manages to take. But if he doesn't, then the big army, I'm going to assume, that will come from Dunlorak, will attack his army and kill them, kill them once more. And um, this big army, I'm assuming, will probably sit in Bale and then I'll come over and finish them off. And hopefully Waffle will bring more reinforcements um, from Farbad. But anyway, uh, let's skip ahead a few turns and see how long it takes them to get the damn spies in. Ah, beautiful. I didn't have to even reload. And I got all the spies in one go. That's perfect. And they've opened the gates. Ah, beautiful. Anyway, let's go in. Menthar, who is... I, He's one of the family members. I think he's like the brother of the faction leader. If I remember correctly. But anyway, that's who he is. He's not very... All that important, really. But, uh... Eh, this will kick his ass. I'm looking forward. Let's do a night battle. And that's going to some extra stats. Hmm, I don't know. I kind of want to do a night battle. Hmm, if, um... I don't think we've actually done a night battle, have we? I might be wrong about that completely, but um, I'm pretty sure we've not done a night battle. So yeah, I'm looking forward to fighting Dunland, and obviously after we dealt with Dunland, we'll be moving down towards Isengard and taking it. And that will conclude the end of the um, series, really. Um, this episode will be on Waffle's channel, so once I finish recording today, I'll be sending the recording file over, and he will be uploading it relatively soon, I'd imagine. And then uh, the next episode, which will be on my channel, will be the final episode. So, yeah. So, uh, let's get some of us look at Elrond's company before we... Because, uh, yeah, just, that just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Um, right, let's get... I'm not... So well, I need all the bowmen I need here. Um, I haven't got that many archers, actually. Uh, get the cav. Uh, yep, that's all of them. And we just get infantry, 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 infantry. It might be wise splitting the um, Marines in half into their own little company. Or own little group, I suppose. I like to call them company. Okay. Um, right, Elrond's archers will destroy everything. Uh, the cab I don't think I'm really going to need that much, but I'll leave them there. Um, Marines can go at the back. And infantry at the back. Okay. And he's opened the gates. Everyone will start firing because the archers, the elven archers, are just so powerful. They are probably going to sit in the town square. Yep. Yeah. Um, they've got a few of those fighting there. We've got the uh, bee slayers. They, they will um, aim for us. But let's watch Aaron destroy them. I don't know how accurate these shots will be. Can't remember the uh, button it is to. Um, isn't it? I have no idea. I know scroll lock disables the um, HUD. But I said it just does say like a black bar. Like, um. <laughs> it's a little annoying. But that's just medieval 2 because it's an old game. Okay, they're saying the Eisenmark Axeman outside. That is incredibly stupid. Why? <laughs> what? Why? Alright, fine. Um. Marines come up here. Uh, let's get you in a better line, actually, than that. And we'll bring the infantry up. Right, get on moving quickly. We want a decent pace. Uh, it might be better to. My marines just stop firing. Right, come through here. Let's pull the archers back. Cool, pull them back as well. Oh, they first sort of just didn't do anything. Okay, it's good. Um, I'll turn the sound off because I think it's a little. Now, I do keep the sound down a bit because I obviously want my voice to be to stand out above anyone else because otherwise I'd 
I, I hate YouTubers that have like their audio quality like not balanced out in any way. In fact, you shouldn't get it for any fire, just don't bother. Uh, you can come off this as well. Right. Bring you forward. Cell swords have just carved them up. Yeah, the fight against Dunham will be quite easy. <laughs> get you in that. Um, if I can get the archers up here, that would be perfect. And I'll bring the javelins a little closer, see if we can actually get some decent shots off. Alright. Oh, no. That's not the right button at all. Um, and yeah, manual riders, I want to bring them over this way. I'm surprised they've sided out against us. I mean, that was, seems just I don't know, a bit odd. Really? <laughs> uh, hold back. Don't get yourself in, caught in too much. Right. Fire when you have a clear shot. I think we have, like, the Dunham music on. I'm pretty sure it's a movie or something I've heard it from. An idea. Let's watch some of the combat go on. The Emmanuel Swordsman just going in. They have had an armor upgrade, which is why they look a little different to the uh, unit card. So, there you go. Well, they've gone. Get the cab in there and run them down. What's that coming out? Uh, I can't see. No clown spearmen. Pull out them. Because they just kill my cab unnecessarily. Alright, go on then, have at him. It's nice to see the elven troops stand, completely stand out to um, the Dunland, like just a very generic Dunland look, isn't it? It's just a very, I look at Dunland and I think, oh, it's so bad, it's just it's so terribly. I know I'm getting you guys to walk. I don't really know if you could actually hit anything. No, not at all. I'm just waiting to pull back. I don't know why I've got you there, to be honest. Unless you dealt with mostly. Uh, you can come around here. I'd rather you not walk into the army. Thank you. Come over here quick. Center and waste my time. I can't get the archers in range, but if I move Elrond up a little bit, you might be able to be a bit more accurate and the cab can start firing their arrows. Yeah, that's the last of them gone. The Eisenmach Axemen are dead. Now, we need to um, slog through the gates, <laughs> essentially. Right, everybody push through. Get you off this and you'll come in a bit quicker. So the clan spearmen that are holding the gates are full quickly. You guys are not in range at all. I thought your range would be a bit better. No, very not. We have killed uh, 48 percent. Yeah, we push through now. Good. Yeah, the spearmen are dead in there. <laughs> Not surviving that. Right. Bring you in, and in fact, I'll bring Aaron in. There's no point in him just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, the cab are probably going to be useless in this battle, unless I can come around here, and perhaps we might be able to do. Because we captured the gate, so I'm assuming that we can come through here. Um, let's make sure he's actually make sure the cab are coming this way. Yeah. Hoping this general actually has some sense and goes the right way. Yeah, looks like he does. This lasso spearman just fine on there. Of course, many of the uh, many of our troops will die. There's some over here though, the war chanters, I don't really know what they're doing. 
bit of just hiding, to be perfectly honest. The general's going to be up here, I think. I believe he's up here. Oh, look at the... Oh, there you go. That's what I wanted. My uh, cab archers are firing, hitting them at the back. Perfect. Right. If I can split you guys into one to two groups, I can probably get you up here. Not really. No. Um, I can't really... Okay. Right, this is what we're going to do. Let me move up. I'll get you guys to run. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. Well, essentially, the plan is to slog up here. My archers are going to do some work here, which is perfect. Let's try and get a bit closer. I'll move you guys back. I don't really need you to get caught and get shot unnecessarily. These cab will come in handy, but not in this kind of battle. Right. Come here. And I'll get the you guys in up here as well. We'll go time six, no which point um we oh. will smash the enemy. Move you guys up and I'll flank around and kill these no, the, the manual sword masters will just deal with them on quite happily. And I'll send up the Mithlon nobles to do some damage. I'm going to bring you guys up. Who's up in the front line? The oh yeah, the um, the nobles are just so <laughs> amazing. I mean, the Regin Smiths are much better, but um, these guys are really good. All right, if you guys can come around here and take the town square, because they have got completely undefended. Yeah, that's funny. Alright, finish it. We lost your arrows and just head out. Um, right. Move up. Right. Our men have slain the enemy general. Oh, these defenders, I forget they have a garrison. That's something I still very much forget about is the whole garrison script. Ah, the enemy general's dead. I think we were fighting him over here, weren't we? Yeah. Right. Can you hit them, though? Yeah, you can. The Marines can sort of just... The arrows don't even in range anymore. That's why I don't really need them now. Actually, if I sit here, I don't really. I'll just block them from coming up. Right. Get up there when you can. Still a good chunk of these guys over here. Right. Get up there and take that. If I get Aaron to come up behind, he can do a load of damage. Right, well, the archers have pretty much done their job here. Should be the last volley from... Yep, they're out of range. They can all head home. Well, not head home, but head back. Yeah, this video will probably go on a bit longer than an hour, I'm afraid. control of the city. Well, for you guys, I'm sure you're quite pleased with that. <laughs> More Elven and Bree ass. Bree ass kicking, I suppose. Um, uh, I think Elrond would just get so many of our guys killed. Oh, hello. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Only half the enemy force remains. <laughs> They're routing already. Oh no, the war chants are gone. The defenders have still got much strength. 
Well, let me feel. I wish I could put like uh, my javelins on these, these steps and just fire upon them, but unfortunately, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Marines down here are probably not really that great in melee. Um, you guys can come around here and try and flank round. Yeah, we haven't got a time limit on for this. <laughs> I think so I just saved it ages ago. I'm hoping these guys aren't getting, aren't doing too much friendly fire. Alright. War China. The two war chants are coming to save the day. <laughs> Although they do look good with their axes, um, swords, sorry. But, um, yeah. Around the side. These, these units here are dead. Four of them left. <laughs> yep, that's the end of them. In fact, come over here and shoot. I like the like the Anne's wife kind of not Anne's wife but the, the Anne's wife and Dunnan sort of like music. It's very tribal and like barbarian. I like it. I'm very uh, well. It's more Gaelic than barbarian, so that's not really the right thing to say. Right, well you guys head off then. You've done you've done your job. I don't need you. Elrond though, I don't. Think I'm even gonna need him really to be honest. The infantry can wrap things up. Marines can do a bunch of damage here. At the back. Alright. Prepare to fire. That killed a bunch of them, I think. Let's see how many it kills. Mm, oh, there we go. No, that's a decent chunk of them. Our men have taken control of the city. Yeah, that's them gone. All right, infantry, and you come. Finish them off. Look at that. Behold, and there you have it. I'll finish them off, and that'll kill them all. Attack. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. All right, and there you have it. Uh, casualties inflicted, 225. The Mithlon Nobles, I think, got the most kills and set changes. Nope, the Mithlon Nobles got the Golden Sword today. And that is the end of the Dunlindon's control over Byrig. And um, with Byrig now ours, we can now push on probably to Dunlindon Rack. But I'm going to be careful with this big army that I know is around. Because <laughs> that um, big full stack, probably, I don't think it will defeat our army, but it will kill a good chunk of our men. But uh, the more troops we do lose, at least we can make it up and upkeep and upkeep costs later on. There you go. A lot of these battles are a doddle, and that's mainly just because the elves are just such an easy uh, faction to play as, because they're, they're so... Their unit, their infantry and um, cavalry and uh, archers are all so overpowered. Well, not overpowered, but just lore accurate, I suppose. Um, let's exterminate the population. I don't want to have to faff about a public order. <laughs> right. From what I can see, I don't see that big full stack anywhere. Where is that big full stack gone? That's kind of scary to think about that. Hmm. Where is that big full stack gone? I don't know. Well, I've merged my troops. They've done, their, they've done a wonderful job. Elven warriors, for the light. What I might do is send... Um, Elves. Grab that fort. <laughs> If you can, just to, just to, I like it as mine, thank you. I could do with, like setting up some watchtowers over this side, but I, might, I can't really do that with um, so I can't retrain anything. We've got a decent amount of cash, but we're not really gonna spend it on anything, so we can't really. And uh, we don't really need any more troops, I don't think. Um, go on, stick the uh, taxes on very high. I would say get a level worker and just retrain our troops, but we can't because we don't really have any cult. Well, we, no, we don't have culture at all. So that's pretty much useless to us. I don't really want to build anything. All the whole song could... Um, will they give us any free upkeep? I don't know what the... Pretty sure we can't... No, nothing at all. Chicken farming, we can't use that. 
Yeah, that's it. We can't really use much in uh, Byro, I'm afraid. Um, I will go ahead and send a few of my cavalry troops out. Just to uh, take some of these forts. Because, uh, why not? Enter it. Elves. We go. Their I could uh, shove a few more units in the forts, but I want to move out soon. I don't really have time to uh, not do much. The watchtower, and then we lower the taxes because I've just taken Elrond out, which... Oh, fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> of course I did that. At least I lowered the taxes there, I think, so that did it. But anyway, that's the end of the turn. And <laughs> by my complete app, utter stupidity, I ended the turn by clicking that fucking stupid button. I shouldn't have done that. I wish, I wish like, there's one thing I love about a new Turtle War games with ending turns is that it's, it's are you sure you want to end the turn? Um, like, it's, it pops up if you, like, have a, something to, like, a point to give to a skill, a skill you have to give to another unit. So, that's annoying. Oh, well. <laughs> that's the end of the turn. Uh, there you go. Um, but anyway, let's see what uh, Bree does next.